Hello everyone, welcome to softwaretestinghelp.com. This is Gayatri Subramanyam talking about demystifying DevOps. We have completed part 1 and part 2 of this lecture series and currently on part 3, block 2. In block 1, we studied about continuous integration, an important automated process in DevOps practice where we understood that continuous integration is a continuous process of merging all developers code to a central repository and validating each one's merge with a successful build and automated unit test. We also studied the benefits of CI. Now let us understand about continuous delivery, which is another important process in DevOps practice. We know that the main objective of uh, DevOps is to deliver continuously with small increments of value to customers. So in line with this objective, continuous delivery CD in short is something like where the team is always ready on delivering any time to the production instead of our age old model of delivering only on the certain committed delivery date and sticking to that date alone. So continuous delivery In short, it is called CD. Is nothing but delivering any time to the production. So continuous delivery is a pipeline or a life cycle of a code. Let me draw that out. So continuous delivery is a pipeline or life cycle of a code or you can call it as pipeline. where the code or newly uh, developed uh, or updated by the software team gets tested at different stages. See, these are the different uh, testing phases which the code will go through. gets tested at the different stages both through manual and automated tests. This could be a manual uh, testing phase or could be uh, uh, automated testing phase. Uh, generally all of uh, all of these initial phases would be automated and then at the end there would be uh, manual uh, testing phase. So and this also passes the passes both the manual and automated stage gates as well. So uh, uh, this 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 could be the stage gate as well. These at different uh, 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 test uh, phases, there could be uh, the um, stage gates where it could be uh, a manual or automated stage gate. Manual or automated automated so uh, the code which is newly developed or updated by the software team gets tested at different uh, um, stages okay both both of them both manual or the automated test and passes both the manual and automated stage gates and gets into the production so here it passes both the test as well as and stage gates and ultimately gets into the production. So this is the continuous delivery life cycle or pipeline. 
the main focus and objective of continuous delivery is to build test and release to customer quite faster and more frequently you know faster and frequent refers to few hours in devops in short continuous delivery is an approach of delivering software in short cycles so obviously cd intends to deliver value to customer more frequently by reducing the cost increasing the speed of the delivery increasing reliability and reducing the risk of delivering heavy chunks of code so continuous delivery uh, is a process of delivering the software updates to uh, customer more frequently and uh, to the production in small increments ensuring that the software can be released any time so this is the diagrammatic representation of continuous delivery we will understand little more detail about continuous delivery from this diagram obviously when faster deliveries which focuses on cost time quality and reliability is the objective of continuous delivery then automation throughout is a must so cd embraces total automation for its complete cycle which starts with the code check in compiling and building running the automated te unit tests running acceptance testing until the code is in the production and this complete pipeline is called automated deployment pipeline so in devops continuous continuous delivery is also called automated deployment pipeline so this will include few manual uh, testing as well like over here uh, user acceptance uh, testing which generally will be run by the end user and also few manual uh, gate approvals uh, as the code comes closer to the production environment well the definition of cd pipeline and inclusion of different test phases you know like i've shown here and number of test phases from code commit to the product uh, code uh, code into the production and the approval gates either the manual or the automated approval uh, gates needs to be defined depends on the organization based on the program requirements so if you see this diagram we can clearly say that Uh, the continuous delivery includes two pipelines one is the build pipeline that is from here to here which includes the complete ci process of automated the build trigger compiling building and deploying the other one is the test pipeline which basically includes the continuous testing which we will discuss in the next block so this is the continuous delivery uh, uh, um, which is uh, explained through the diagram after understanding the continuous delivery approach let us collate the benefits of continuous delivery continuous delivery is an automated deployment pipeline and hence obviously increases the number of deliveries cd is a short cycle as small as that it runs in few hours so cd being very small in frequent deployments it removes the higher risk of failure at the production unless there is a mandate requirement of human intervention everything in the pipeline starting from code commit to uh, uh, code finish is automated so lot of manual works are reduced continuous delivery boosts confidence in the team and the team will be ever prepared for delivering to production and their mind will be constantly wired to the quality and the speed that is expected in the production continuous delivery enables and enriches both development and operations team to automate everything in the pipeline which includes development as well as the operations activities triggering building unit testing deploying defining infrastructure and environment configurations as code higher levels of testing which includes functionality security performance ui testing etc last but not least continuous delivery being a short deployment cycle helps the team in getting the 
faster feedback on the delivery that too not just from the uh, development environment but also from the production environment and hence makes the software delivery a low stress activity or business as usual to the team with this we are completing learning about the continuous delivery approach and its benefits in our upcoming video let us also understand what is continuous deployment and how does it how does it differ from continuous delivery we will also learn about continuous testing pipeline thank you for listening to me